everybody, it's Rebecca here at Why Mermaids, and it's time for my April wrap up. I can't believe that April is already over. This is nuts. This year is nuts. I say this every month, I feel like, but it's still the same. It's still crazy. It feels like time is just flying by. Wow. April was a month. Did, did you know that? Did you know that April is a month? Because it was. It, it is a month. It was not a very good reading month for me. I only read a total of, drum roll, three books. And not even, actually not even that. I read two and a half. One of them might be an F. That's right. That's right. So we'll say three because I started another book. So anyway, I didn't read a lot in the month of April. So this is a very short wrap up. So let's just hop right on in. And my average rating of those three-ish books was a three star. So not even like a really fantastic reading month at all, in, at all. So the first book that I read this month was Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, AKA JK Rowling. This is the third book in the Cormoran Strike novels and it continues along with where those left up. We have Robin who is Cormoran's assistant in his private investigation uh, detective company. There's a murder and basically someone sent Robin a leg and we're trying to figure out who it was. It's different from the other ones because uh, Cormoran has th like a couple people that he suspects that it could be because it was addressed to the assistant. So like, anyway, uh, so it wasn't necessarily like trying to fig narrow it down from like the whole world. It was just trying to figure out between those three, which was kind of an interesting take on it. I did like it a lot. It was very dark. It talks about cutting off body parts and you get perspective of the killer and it just, it's still really good. I still really enjoyed it, but I gave it a four star, which is about average for these because I mean, they're not like amazing, but they're still pretty good. Like I enjoy a good detective novel. I like to figure out who did it, who done it. So that's why I enjoy them and it did not disappoint me. The next book that I read was Nora and Kettle by Lauren Nicole Taylor. I already did a full review of this book, which you can watch for more information. It is a retelling of Peter Pan set in the 1950s with uh, Peter is a homeless boy named Kettle and Nora is a privileged girl who has an abusive father and that's their Wendy character. So it's kind of how they come, the two come together and how they meet and it is the first book in a potential series. So there is that. But if you want more information, check out my full review. Now for my audiobook, which I didn't finish. I tried actually to read two different audiobooks this month. I had some struggles with the audiobooks this month. Let me just tell you. So the first one I tried was The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater, which I actually was really enjoying and it's that Will Patton is a narrator and he just has this really like silky southern voice that I was really enjoying, but a novel like The Dream Thieves, I, f I couldn't pay attention because there's a lot of like little things that are happening that I was like, did I miss something? I felt like I was zoning out and tuning out a lot of a lot during the listening process to this book. So I had to put it down, but I did pick up an ebook version. I got it from the library. So I've been reading that instead and I am really enjoying it. I'm probably like 60 to 70% of the way through. So I'm close to being done with, with The Dream Thieves, but I didn't finish it. And so I can't include it, but I did start reading on audio and then just switched over, but I reread the stuff that I'd already heard just because I felt like I missed stuff and I did. I understood it better when I actually read it. So I put that away and then I was like, all right, well, I still need an audiobook. I still have time to kill. So I picked up Food, A Love Story by Jim Gaffigan. I did not find this funny at all. I thought it was gonna be funny. It's a book by a comedian. I didn't find it funny. I felt I was just wasting my time listening to it. And I just, it was just, it just talks about food, which duh, I mean, it's called Food, A Love Story, but I thought it would be like food in a funny, interesting way. And it was more of just like how he likes to gorge on food and stuff. And I just didn't really find it all that appealing. Part of it's the fact that I'm vegan. So the half the stuff that he's talking about, I can't eat anyway. And I'm just like, I don't get your love of meat and bacon. I just don't get it. So I put it away because Beyonce's Lemonade came out and I was like, you know what? I'd much rather be listening to Queen Bay than you talk about food. So I just DNF'd it. I just wasn't enjoying it. So it's a two star for me, even though I didn't finish it, but I felt like it was a two star. I got decently, I got about halfway through, a little over halfway. So meh, meh, I'm sorry if you really liked it. I just, it, what, it didn't, was not for me. It was not my cup of tea. So yeah, April was, um, was a month. It was not a very good reading month, but I do attribute it to the fact that A, I had problems with audiobooks, and B, I moved, like 
moved houses and my husband uh, works he travels for work a lot and the week that we were packing up he was gone so I had to pack the entire house and by the time I had time to read I was falling asleep and I didn't have time to read I just wanted to watch friends and fall asleep so that's what I did and then we moved in and then I all my free time went to unpacking things and I just haven't found the right reading spot yet I've just it's been a struggle man it's been a struggle I can't I feel like I'm finally settled down now and I'm starting to get more comfortable and uh, the books are all put away. The house is mostly kind of put away. So we're getting back into the swing of things, hopefully for May. There's a readathon coming up, so we should be doing good. Hopefully my May numbers will slowly pad out the fact that I had a terrible reading month in April. But that's okay, because life happens, right? And life is more important sometimes than reading, unfortunately. As much as I wish I could just read all day every day. Is there a job for that? Can I have that job? Yeah, all right. Well, anyway, let me know how you did this month. How was your reading month? What was your favorite thing that you read? What do you recommend I pick up next on top of the 8 million books of my TBR that I currently have to read? But sometime I'll get to it. I promise, maybe, sort of, kind of. Anyway, uh, that's enough of my quaffling, waffling randomness. That's it for me today. I'll see you next time.